Hey guys, welcome to another Maple Story video. In the event that you detect a slight change in the tone of my voice or just the overall pitch or just the way my voice sounds, I am currently relocated my computer to my sister's room, which is a lot larger and has much more, I guess, widespread acoustics. So if it sounds like I'm echoing a bit more, I do apologize for that. So the lab server did come out and I'm having a very love-hate relationship with it so far, as I'm sure many other people are. But I gotta say, this is the most fun I've had on MapleStory in quite a while. It's just such a weird server. The way it works, in case you guys did not know about the lap server, is that lap server is a temporary server that Nexon is releasing for the next two weeks. And the way the server works is that you, it's sort of like reboot, but in like a super, super hardcore experience in a sense that you basically start off at level 10, you can only create an explorer class. All the monsters have much higher HP and they do more damage to you. There's also a potion cooldown. The experience rate is permanently 2x. The drop rate is increased by I think like a hundredfold because every mob you kill drops like 20 pieces of equipment, which is insane. The dropped equipment has a chance of having epic, unique, and legendary potential as well. And most importantly, if you die, your character goes back down to level 10 and your job advances and resets. That is the worst part of the server. For all intents and purposes, I can probably just call this server the MapleStory version of Realm of the Mad God in that everything is just YOLO or like, you know, just do or die. And I like it a lot actually, it's pretty fun seeing a whole bunch of items drop on the ground and it's amazing seeing how much damage you can have. Like at level 45, I had something like I think 400k range, which is ridiculous. And the server is not meant to be a very serious server, it's more of a troll server, you don't, you know, you're only just playing on it to have fun. There are some benefits though, and I will be leaving links in the description below for more information if you guys uh, want to check it out. But from what I know, you can be granted two Maple Legion blocks that each are up to four pieces or five pieces if you go to level 250. Those pieces can fit on your Maple Legion board and they do not go over the block limit. Additionally, the blocks themselves give you I think a total of I think like 20 to 28 attack if you have level 150 character. And uh, the way to get it, it's really weird. Uh, I'll just, like I said, just check the description below. I'm mostly making this video to discuss my thoughts on it and whether or not I think it's actually worth doing. The short answer is yes. If you're looking just purely from a practical standpoint, getting two free Legion blocks that each take up four tiles and also do not count towards the character limit that also give a huge amount of weapon and magic attack permanently is definitely a big bonus. Take the advantage of the event while it's here because once the lab server is gone, it's gone forever and you can never get that event ever again, I think. I'm sure there are a few other benefits that you can get, I can't quite think of it off the top of my head, but at least from my standpoint, and I'm a person of efficiency, I still think it's actually a very worthwhile server to play in, just for fun, because it's really satisfying seeing how much damage you can do, and also just like the kind of the stress that you have to worry about getting killed, because remember, if you die, it doesn't matter if you're level 10, level 30, level 40, level 110, 100, level 200, or level 250, if you die, you go back down to level 10, which is a... Uh, I've had a pretty nasty experience of that, you get three 3x coupons, yep. Oh, no, 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 what the fu- What? 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 No! What? Wait! Wait, that's not fair! No, that is not fair! You can't just do that! Why teleport me to a place where I can get this to kill? What? No! What? That's- I literally had no time to react! Holy- What the- Are you fu- Like, you can't be serious, man. That was so freaking- Like, F this server! Yeah, my name! F this server! Holy- Like, freaking frick this server! That's actually so... Mm, yeah, that wasn't fun. I, I just, I have a feeling that a lot of people are going to die because of BS. Because <laughs> even with the potion cooldown, even with monsters doing a lot of damage to you, it's not that hard to stay alive. Just get potions, and the potion cooldown applies to individual potions. So another way to circumvent this is to just get a bunch of different types of potions, like a chocolate, a monster, a ginger ale, a ginseng root, power elixir, an elixir, reindeer milk, melting cheese, all of that, and you should be good to go. However, it's just there are points where sometimes people just die from pure stupidity, like in that clip that I showed you a couple seconds ago, that was pretty bad, and uh, but also more just lag. I'm sure a lot of people probably have died from lag, but I think there's just a lot of ways you can just die without you being able to do anything. 
and I think no one really is going to attempt to do any bosses, it, even if it's to get better gear, just purely because of the fact that they have a lot of ways that can easily just destroy you in one hit. Although I'm not entirely sure how dying in a boss that has a turn or has a death count will work, but you know, I'm never going to find out. I do not want to find out. I don't really think the live server is meant to be used for bossing or pursuing endgame anyway. It's mostly just meant to train up a character so you can get the legion blocks and whatever rewards Nexon has to offer. But one thing I really find extremely satisfying is the fact that every item has 255 slots in terms of enhancement, which means I actually was able to scroll or spell trace an Absolab wand before I gave up on Ice Lightning Mage and switched to Cannoneer. And it ended with like almost 1500 magic attack. It was ridiculous. I loved it. I'm like, I can't. Oh, it's so satisfying that if you actually went through the entire process of trying to go from, let's say, if you wanted to prime scroll a 255 slot item, that would just be amazing to see. But overall, I think that the server is going to be a very interesting experience. I'm definitely going to be playing on it. I'm going to get my character to level 150, then suicide him and then get him to 150 again so I can get both the Legion blocks. I believe you can get both. Nexon says, or so far, I think what Zong said is that you can get both. Uh, it's not like Nexon will give you only one in place of the other. So I definitely recommend you do it. Any NX you spend on the server will be refunded to you in Maple Points when the server closes. So if you buy a 2x card, a teleport rock, what have you, you will definitely get it back. And if you don't, I'm pretty sure people are going to start a riot about it and then Nexon will have to comply. Or you can just submit a ticket and get that funded right away. Quick tip for everyone playing on the lab server by the way, do not spell trace your gear with strength, dex, interlock. Spell trace it with HP because the goal of this server is to survive, not to get more damage. You get more than enough damage from those black potions that increase your weapon and magic attack by like 4000 and 150% each. And that's the mistake I made when I was playing as an ice lightning mage is that I focused too much on going for damage even though I was basically one-shotting every mob because I was doing about like 500k damage at level 40. So spell trace your gear with HP. Because spell traces are so easy to get, you can get I think uh, for 1 mil you can get 100,000 of them. If you can get your character really juiced up in HP to like, I don't know, like the 50,000, the 60,000 mark, which is easily possible because of the fact that every item has 255 slots, then you'll basically be unkillable and you'll be all set to go. Additionally, because you have to suicide your character and start all over again, if you're gonna play the same class, I recommend you keep the gear that you spell traced, even if it's level 40, level 20, keep it because you're gonna have to re-level the character again so you can get right back to where you started. But apart from that, just wanted to let you guys know that the lab server is out. I do recommend it. My thoughts genuinely are I hate this server with a burning passion, but it's worth doing just because I hate the server. <laughs> it's such a troll server. It's so funny. It's like a private server in GMS, but it's just so weird. I, I don't get it at all, but it's fun. Even though I hate it, it's pretty fun. I actually have been enjoying my time a lot on the server, and I'm sure a lot of people would also agree with me that the server is pretty fun. It is rage inducing, but once you get past the fact that you're just gonna lose all the progress you make after you die, you should be perfectly fine. Anyways, that's gonna be it guys. Thank you so much for watching, and also the dual blade guide is gonna be coming out tomorrow. I was gonna make the guide today, but the lab server came out and I was like, alright, I forgot. So I'll be making it tomorrow, so stay tuned for that, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care.